Let's make this party fast and furious in that order. Yeah, I want to go to the dance. I heard the Dean's got free taco meat from the army. We can go to the dance in a bit. But first, why don't we tell some scary stories? Good. I'll start with a story about a horrible fate befalling innocent people, and then I'm curious to get individual reactions. Once upon a time, there's a couple in a car in the woods making out or something. I think I heard something. It's just the sound of my heart, baby. Huh. In the news tonight, top story, an escaped convict from the asylum has escaped, and he's mental, and he's on the loose and stuff. Oh, my god. That sounds dangerous. Oh, I'm sure it's no biggie, but I am a horny man. I'm only half present. He was last seen in the woods and has a thingy for a hand, a hook thing where his hand should be. You know what I mean? That sounds dangerous. Fine, I'll get out and look. But then I'm entitled to sex. Ah! I'm getting stabbed with this hook hand thing. Oh my god, no, I was right. And the woman was screaming and screaming and the man got killed. Ah, bet. Yep. How did that story make you feel? Embarrassed. That's an odd reaction. Seems, yeah, odd. Yeah. Seems fair. What embarrassed you about it? I didn't care about the characters. Didn't care about them. They were stupid. They deliberately put themselves in danger, and when they were warned about it, the guy got out of the car. Do you believe because he was stupid, he deserved to die? What the hell kind of party is this? I suppose from a creative standpoint, some characters deserve to die. Ones that lack common sense or even basic survival instinct. Your story's not scary because the characters are making choices the audience wouldn't make. Plus, you need a smarter lead. Give me some more. I'm in a dream.